one of the main reasons people look to buy the Galaxy Buds Pro is the 360 audio but really is it worth it? Is it a gimmick? How does it work with the music and the movies? Basically all of the stuff you should know before buying this one. I tried this with different devices and uh, I'm going to share my observations and experience. So if you're new to the channel subscribe like this video guys. Let's begin. Let me start off by a quick comparison with the AirPods Pro Spatial Audio. Spatial Audio only works with selected apps whereas Buds Pro tries to play well with almost all the apps. Also the content needs to be Dolby Atmos encoded whereas Buds Pro try and even turn the stereo channel into something sort of a virtual surround sound. So as a result you get a more unified experience on the AirPods whereas it is a bit more inconsistent on the Galaxy Buds Pro. More on that later. Also you have a quick toggle to turn it on off on the AirPods whereas you need to dig into the app which is a bit of a downside. So when you go into the app to turn on the 360 audio it says the Dolby Atmos will not be used if you enable the 360 audio which I find a bit confusing and uh, ambiguous but hopefully we'll explore more on that. Anyway I was curious to test the spatial audio on the Apple Music with the Buds Pro. So I enabled the 360 audio in the Galaxy Buds app also enable the Dolby Atmos in the Apple Music as you can see here. I started off playing the spatial audio demo and other tracks and the head tracking actually works here. But I guess this feature is a little bit broken. I mean it doesn't work all the time. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But head tracking is just a part of the Dolby Atmos experience. So I just wanted to turn off the 360 audio and see how this works. But I made sure that the Dolby Atmos on the Apple Music was still on. Now here the head tracking obviously does not work now but it still has a hint of that surround sound when you play any track from the spatial audio section. I mean you can easily hear and feel the difference in your earphones when you turn off the Dolby Atmos and turn on the Dolby Atmos. You can try and do that you will definitely notice the difference. So I guess whether the 360 audio is on or off the Dolby Atmos will continue to work provided you are consuming Dolby Atmos content. So I tried this with my MacBook M1 that also has spatial audio support. The head tracking does not work but I observed similar experience on the Apple Music. Also I tried this with the Apple TV which has support for spatial audio but the head tracking or the Dolby Atmos it simply doesn't seem to work. It sounds like a normal movie. I also happened to try this with the iPad and the experience is again pretty much the same. But keeping aside the head tracking. Let's talk about the more meaningful question whether the 360 audio or the spatial audio is good for music. Well I would say I wouldn't buy this for the music at least uh, to get that 360 audio or the spatial audio. In fact the Apple AirPods also had mixed reactions from users but for watching videos spatial audio is really really good. So how good is 360 audio for watching movies? I tried this with some regular apps like YouTube and Prime Video. YouTube is essentially a user generated content. So you don't really find the Dolby Atmos content here. So user content generally sounds terrible like vlogs and regular stuff. This is probably why people turn off the 360 audio. But if you try this with movies or some action movies scenes you will find this sound a lot better. In fact this is still not the Dolby Atmos content but again Samsung tries to sort of uh, turn this into some virtual surround sound. It adds a bit of echo and reverb trying to simulate that theater like experience and I kind of liked it for some movies but YouTube clearly lacks the Dolby Atmos content. I believe they technically support the spatial audio but one needs to upload it with the right metadata and the inputs for it to work. But most of the videos on YouTube claiming to be 2D, 3D, 8D, they don't seem to be actually encoded in that particular specification. Sadly Prime Video limits itself to full HD no matter what the device is. I don't think you can find the Dolby Atmos content on the Prime Video app at least here in India. So probably because of the lack of the content and the app support Samsung is trying to sort of simulate that virtual surround sound experience trying to play well with pretty much every app and all the content. But on the Apple side of things with the spatial audio they have the right hardware, the app support, the content. So the experience is definitely more consistent and more refined I would say. 
So the 360 audio for watching movies despite the lack of content, I personally had a pretty good experience particularly watching some action packed movies. But I feel Samsung needs to put more controls and toggles on the 360 audio section. Also they need to give a quick toggle on the earbuds to turn the 360 audio on or off so that a user can quickly switch between that depending on the content. So the bottom line is 360 audio for music it's not really worth it but for watching movies you can still have a slightly different experience or refreshing experience even when you don't have Dolby Atmos content but if you do it should be better and let's hope that more and more content is freely available. This kind of content does not really get views so at least give this video a like and also subscribe if you found it helpful. That's been it guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.